welcome to a very special day where I'm here at Berkeley Castle on a very windy English day. I'm Charlie from the Xbox UK team and today we are celebrating the upcoming launch of Age of Empires 4, available day one on Xbox Game Pass for PC, Steam and Microsoft Store. This is probably the most literal launch event possible and here is why. This contraption is a mini trebuchet, but this is the ultimate Age of Empires siege weapon unrivaled in turning castles into rubble faster than you can say wallalo. And this is exactly what we're going to be using today to throw a treasure trove of items through the air. Well, like I said, we won't be using this one because it's only 20 centimeters tall, but while this mini trebuchet is amazing and you should definitely keep your eyes peeled as we're going to be giving away an amazing Lenovo gaming machine and your own mini trebuchet over on the Age of Empires Twitter, we will be using a slightly bigger one with a bit more firepower. This beast is over 21 feet tall with the arm alone weighing a whopping 220 pounds, not to mention that it has the potential to launch items around 230 feet. As you can see behind me, we have distance markers set in place to record just how far we managed to launch each item. Now, you've all been voting on the official Xbox Game Pass for PC and Age of Empires Twitter accounts, and I'm sure all the items you've chosen to launch won't be disappointing. Now, we'll be going over just what we'll be slinging in a moment, as well as meeting a few very special guests. But first, here's a closer look at the history of trebuchets and their significance in Age of Empires. Hi there, my name is Noble Smith and I'm the Franchise Narrative Director at World's Edge. The word trebuchet comes from the Old French and it means to fall or overturn. These counterweight siege engines were used to smash down walls or hurl nasty things like burning wads of pitch or diseased carcasses over bastions to motivate people to yield. The Trebs in Age of Empires IV are pretty awesome, and you're going to have a lot of fun with these diabolical machines. Some civilizations, like the English, have siege engine upgrades, like the one called Shattering Projectiles, and it increases their area of effect damage upon impact. And then there's the great Hui Hui Pao, the biggest, most powerful trebuchet in history. You'll get to use this in the final mission of the Mongol Empire campaign, you build the mighty Hui Hui Pao. And it dwarfs all of the other siege engines in Age of Empires IV in both scale, power, and flinging distance. And it's an essential tool in beating this final dramatic mission. So, when you play Age of Empires IV, turtles beware of the trebuchet. But this isn't the only beast on the castle grounds today, as I am joined by Icelandic professional strongman Hapthor Bjornsson. Hello, how are you? You may recognize him as the mountain from Game of Thrones. Are you good? I'm very good, thank you so much. It's, uh, yeah, I'm good. It's a bit windy today. How are you? It? I'm great, but I've heard that you used to play for the Icelandic national professional basketball team. Is that true? Yes, I used to play as a, as, as a young boy myself, basketball. Enjoyed it a lot and, uh, Yes, but now I'm a big guy. You're a big guy, but are you big enough? Do you think you can out throw a trebuchet? I actually, you know what? I'm going to give it my best. Yeah? OK, yeah. let's get the basketball in. Here we go. Let's try it. <laughs> not bad, not bad. We'll see if that thing can beat me. but I'm sure the trebuchet has something to say about that. Oh, this. <laughs> you need to help me. <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. I think that went a little bit further than yours. How do you feel about that? I don't like losing. <laughs> I'm amazed by that machine. I'm impressed. That, that went far. It went really far, well, wasn't it? Well, now we've seen the machine in motion. I think it's time maybe we learn how the machine was made from the guy who made it. Should we introduce Todd? Absolutely. Hello, Todd. Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here. And today I am building a medieval weapon. And it's going to take me a little while because I am building a trebuchet. 
The A-frames are up. The next thing we're going to make is the arm. The bit that actually throws the rocks and the objects. So this massive chunk of timber here is part of it because it's got to get thickened and it's got to get lengthened. The counterweight bucket is finished, all rusted up to make it look old. On the end of the trebuchet arm is the release system for the sling. That's where you make the rock go where you want it to go. But I have to make it adjustable because I don't know how this thing's going to work. And that's it. The arm is in. The winch system with its ratchet has been installed here. Basically, crank it around and there's a tooth here that stops it rotating back. And it's just picking up the weight on the arm now. So it's a slow process. Because if it's slow, it's powerful. Building the Age of Empires 4 trebuchet is just the coolest thing I have ever done. And I am just about to shoot it for the first time. It'll be fine, I'm sure. But if you really want to see what it does, keep on watching. So I am now joined by Todd himself. What an amazing end result we have Thank here. You. Are you pleased with it? I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's just been a brilliant thing to make. Really and nice. remind us again, how long did it take to get this up and running? It took two of us about three weeks. That's really impressive. Are you excited to throw some stuff out of oh, it today? Totally, yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's just brilliant. But it wouldn't be an Age of Empires 4 launch event without a little bit of Age of Empires 4. So joining me right now is Mango Mel, who's going to be giving us a few top trebuchet gameplay tips later on in the show. But Mel, what's it like to be here today with an actual real live trebuchet? It's pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you think it's bigger than you thought? Or is it about, about size? I'm going to say bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, fair enough, I'll give you that. And now I think it's time for me and Thor to try and launch a few things out of this trebuchet. Okay, Thor, we are now going to start throwing things out of the trebuchet. One of our first items was voted for on a poll on Twitter and is a CRT monitor. Are you ready? I am. Take it away whenever you're ready. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect all of the confetti. Okay, Thor, are you ready for the next one? This was voted on the Age of Empires Twitter account this time, and it is a stuffed sheep. Are you okay with this? Yes, because it's <laughs> not a yes. real sheep, so I'm yes, fine. Yes, not with a it. real sheep, and with that in mind, let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's the TV, but that still looked pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good, huh? Yeah. I want to say that one might actually be my favourite so far. Okay, Thor, up next we're going to be launching an exercise ball out of a trebuchet. Have you ever done that before? Never have. Nope, should we do it now? Let's do it. Oh my goodness me! All right. <laughs> and it's gonna roll. Oh, that's a good one. That was, that was good. That was a good one. That could be your best one yet. So it's my pleasure to say the next thing we're launching is a dummy in a suit of armor. So whenever you're ready, please launch the dummy. Way! Oh. <laughs> okay. like he was gonna do a cartwheel. Was, yeah. that, was that good for you? Was that all right? That was uh, okay. Yeah, was that not as good as some of the others? Do no. some more flips, some more flips, could've, maybe. Could've. I've loved doing this today. Thank you so much for joining us, Thor. And also, thank you to Todd, who built the trebuchet in the first place. Will you come back and do it again sometime? Absolutely. Right. I had a blast. Perfect. I'm going to hold him to that. But if you want to be even better in Age of Empires, we're going to go check in with Mango Mel now, who has got some top trebuchet tips just for you on Age of Empires 4. Hi, my name's Manga Mel, and I am here to give you some trebuchet tips for Age of Empires 4. And for all this lovely gameplay, I'll be playing on a Lenovo gaming machine and using Windows 11. My first tip for trebuchets in Age of Empires 4 would be to ensure that you have the correct amount of villagers on each resource in the game. So trebuchets are very heavy on wood and very heavy on gold. So as you can see here, I've got 11 villagers on wood and 11 villagers on gold, which will set me up nicely for tread production in the later game. So my second tip for using trebuchets would be to never send them forward alone. Whilst they're formidable at a long distance for buildings, they are very vulnerable to sniping from enemy forces. So make sure you look after them at all times. For my third tip for Age of Empires 4 trebuchets, 
we're going to take a quick look into the tech tree. This is a technology called greased axles, which increases the movement speed of siege engines by 20%. Trebuchets are really slow, so this is a really useful tech to get to get across the map quick to your enemy to wipe out their buildings even faster. So my fourth tip will be to take a look at the Civ specific bonuses available in the game. So here I am in the tech tree for the English Civilization, where we can see we have the unique tech called Shattering Projectiles. This affects trebuchets by making them shatter on impact, increasing their area of effect. My final tip, if you are able to, try and attack with more than one trebuchet at once. This will take your enemy's town out twice as fast. I hope you found my trebuchet tips useful, and I'll see you soon in Age of Empires 4. All right, Belle, it's the end of the day, and I think we've still got a few more bits to throw. Starting off with a wooden keg. Let's go. Ah! Oh, let's go. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> oh, no, I think that one might have won. I think that let's was service. Let's do another one. This time it's a cuddly toy, so take it away. Yes! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Are you all right, love? Actually, it's exciting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mel, thank you so much for those incredibly helpful tips. I cannot wait to play Age of Empires 4 when it launches, but that is everything we have time for today. I would also like to thank Thor, Mel, naturally, and Todd for building the trebuchet and making this little girl's dreams come true. Don't forget that Age of Empires 4 comes to Xbox Game Pass for PC, Steam and Microsoft Store on October 28th and head over to the Age of Empires Twitter account if you want to get your hands on a Lenovo gaming machine and perhaps a minute trebuchet. Anyway, want to throw some more things for the road? Absolutely. Let's do it.